It's a debt most of us will face at one point in our lifetime. We're talking about medical debt. It is the leading cause of bankruptcy here in the United States. Consumer protection investigators say this process, it's not always fair. And our Patrick Nelson actually got involved to help one man who was battling cancer in Pueblo West and was facing some of these billing headaches of his own Patrick. These challenges are real. According to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau in this report, right now folks in Colorado hold more than $1.3 billion in medical debt, and at least 12% of those folks are being sent to collections for that debt. Now this is Tom. He lives in Pueblo West and had the courage to reach out to us about his medical billing frustrations. And speaking up, helped him get some results. <laughs> They found something a little iffy, and that's when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, I was scared, just like anybody else would be. I was worried about my health, worried about my family. I thought, geez. Tom Erdialis says he's now in good health and is grateful for the care he received during this tough time, but he knew expensive medical bills would be a part of the process. I had three different bills. One's coming from the doctor's group, one coming from the imaging, and the other one coming from the hospitals. Tom says he tried to be proactive, calling to set up payment plans, but nobody was returning his calls. Not wanting to get behind, he started paying anyway. So he was shocked to find out he was being sent to collections. In May is when I got my first collection letter, and that surprised me. I'm thinking, I can see you're cashing my checks. And but you're sending me to collections and you won't return my phone calls. Unsure of what to do next, Tom reached out to us at News 5 for help. Patrick, you were kind enough to reach back to me and uh, you started the ball rolling by pushing and asking questions. I made some phone calls and sent emails to some of the medical companies involved. And a few weeks later, Tom says his situation finally got some attention with his insurance company going the extra mile to help. I was, my wife and I were close to being in tears because they said, Tom, we're going to take the care of the rest of your bills. And I think that was close to $5,000 that they said, you know, it's on us. We don't want you to have that stress that uh, we know what you're feeling and we will handle it from here. Uh, it was a godsend. I spoke with Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser about the challenges our neighbors like Tom are facing when it comes to medical billing. And he says it's important to contact his office because consumer investigators and top lawmakers are working to make changes to help. We're working to get authority to prevent medical debt collection when people get surprise bills. We're working to prevent medical debt collection while people are appealing the cost of health care itself. And we're working to cap the total amount of money that can be charged on people with medical debt. We know this is incredibly painful for people. Tom says after this experience, he is taking an even closer look at every bill he gets, and he hopes his story will inspire others to speak up if they need help. I'm not the only one out there that's having these issues because not only are you having health issues, you're starting to stress about it, and that affects your life overall as well. And so uh, that's what prompted me to reach out. And when it comes to medical billing problems, consumer advocates say it's so important not to suffer in silence. You can always reach out to us here at News 5, just like Tom did. And if you visit our website, KOAA.com right now, I posted some resources to help you get started in finding the help that you need. We'll have